everybody. Justin with VMP here. I'm here with Alex Martinez. He has an extremely fast stick shift Cobra with a VMP Gen 3R. I'm going to show him our new ice tank and I think you're going to install it when you get home. Yep, yep. We're going to put it in and try to use it for next weekend's NMRA race. So um, you've got a tank right now and this is a common uh, half moon style tank. You probably saw this in some of my videos where I talk about like hey, why don't we make a plastic one? Hey, look, here's a plastic one. Our goal was to improve upon this design greatly and make it easier for people at home to install it themselves by providing the correct fittings and bracketry and everything. So here, come a little bit closer. First thing I wanna show you is, you know, these tanks, they had a good system to attach to the trunk, um, but they, the pump mounting, you were on your own, um, returns were in the wrong place, drains, you know, that's okay for a drain. So the lid's a little bit small. So here, I'll show you what we're giving Alex. So this is the new VMP trunk mounted ice tank. Hey, these are black now, finally. <laughs> so of course we've got the best lid out there, this uh, spin off style lid. We've actually recessed it so you can still put the carpet back on if you want to. I think you're way past carpet. Yeah, way past that. Yeah. <laughs> so first things first, this is the strainer. This is the insert for the strainer. This threads on here. And I know we might get some flack about this. This is over an inch ID, uh, bigger than most lines. This can be installed either in this side or this side. So whichever side you mount your pump, you want to install the strainer. So that goes in there. And I think we, we said your pump's going to go on the right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whichever side you guys want us to mount it, we'll do okay. it. Cool. So we provide brackets. Now this is the C-Max pump bracket. And of course you already have an EMP. Mm -hmm. EMP works great. He's going to reuse that. This is the EMP pump bracket. Our engineer Jake is actually uh, behind on one of the cameras. Jake, am I doing this right? Okay. Other way. Other way. Okay. All right. So this is critical for proper mounting of the EMP. There's actually a recommended clockings for installation for like aeration and capitation inside the pump and stuff. And then we give you a offset silicone reducer from one and a half inch down to one inch, because that's what the EMP is. So that's gonna go on here. Oh, cool. It's even labeled VMP EMP. Uh, does it go offset towards the bottom or towards the top? Top, okay. So you've seen some of the uh, videos we've done on this before and we laid everything out in CAD to figure out little stuff like that. We supply a ton of fittings. That's for the C-Max, but you can use it for whatever you want. Adapters. Alex has a combination of three quarter inch and one inch lines in the car. So he's definitely gonna be using some of these different adapters. Um, there's an anode rod to help with corrosion. We recommend putting that in the top, right? Yep, okay, in the top hole. There's a drain valve, hardware, different plugs. This is gonna be your vent up here. Um, this is an extra fitting right here you can use as a vent or you can just plug it. If you use this as a vent, you have to run a hose up high because it will leak. This one can just be vented to atmosphere. And of course, you've got your tank attachment method of using the spare tire mount. If you don't have those parts anymore, you can use brackets with these holes here. There's also a hole, some holes on the bottom. Um, those are number 10-32 screws. So this setup is gonna move Alex's pump to where it's 90 degrees and it's gonna be in line. It's gonna be in line and that's gonna help with feeding the pump. Under hard launches, all of the inertia of the water is going to the back of the tank and you want that water to go straight into the pump no 90s, no turns, nothing, because it's going to keep the pump fed better, make sure that the intercooler system is flowing in all scenarios. I think that's one of my main issues that I'm having with this setup, because every like fourth or fifth pass, I would have an issue where it would pick up an air pocket and, you know, intake temps would go to the roof. So that's why I'm really excited to go to this, because it should help out with the couple issues that I'm having with the current setup that I have. Yeah, and even our pickup screen is oversized as well. So the inlet doesn't get clogged up with ice. 
Look forward to seeing you install our tank and go fast. Appreciate it. Thank you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.